time now for our final off the record parting shots and we will start with you Mike Miller. Some all redundant since I just said it but I don't think the uh, legislature is going to do anything about the death penalty in Ohio. We will have it for many years to come. All right. Sam. This is an easy one. Ohio State's going to win the national championship and they may not be defeat undefeated in the Big Ten but they're going to win the national championship. Football right. Football. Because women's synchronized swimming <laughs> is on like 30. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to clarify, get your predictions down. Uh, Andy. It was an interesting piece in the Washington Post about Sherrod Brown and how he was very close to becoming the vice presidential running mate for Hillary Clinton. So that's kind of propelling him more onto the national stage. Pair that with this Obamacare repeal and replace thing. Brown and Portman might be two major players in whatever could be the next bill to come up. And Kasich. And, right. And the governors as well. Yeah. Kevin. Uh, I think things are about to get worse before they get better for the electronic classroom of tomorrow. They're paying back a $60 million debt to the state. There's another audit for last school year that looks like it's going to have similar findings. And the, audit, the state auditor, of course, is calling on some of their funding to be put in escrow in case they shut down and so that they'll have a better chance of recovering it. So we'll have to see how things work out for them. That story continues. Uh, this week, Ohio Supreme Court ruled that cities and towns can reinstall those red light cameras that's same kind of mentioned the red flex cameras here in Columbus but I swear within two hours Columbus said you know we're good we're not gonna put them back <laughs> after the after the scandal that hit City Hall so don't look for red light cameras in Columbus anytime soon